Okay, hello everybody, it's Lou. Um, we're going to redo the Avenged Sevenfold uh, lesson, um, Dear God, and mainly because the mic I had back then um, had a lot of hissing to it. This one still has hissing, but nowhere as bad as the uh, last one I used. Alright, this one uh, we're going to do is Capo on the third fret. Um, but I'm going to do something unique this time around, and then I'm first I'm going to ask you guys uh, for your opinion on something and I I'm hoping that you guys won't be shy and you'll give me some comments on it <coughs> I still get quite a bit of nasty um, comments and a lot of them I delete and I block the person because I'm really not up here to deal with that at first I would fight back and but then I kind of said ah, why bother so my question is this, and I'm trying to do the lessons for you guys, not for me, but really I have I enjoy doing them, but it's to try to help um, beginners learn chords and how to do the chords and chord changes. So we could do it a couple of different ways. I could just get up here and tell you these are the chords you're going to do, show you how to do them, and tell you, okay, now that's how you play the song. Those are the chords to the song, and that would be probably a half hour, uh, not a half hour, but probably a ten minute video lesson at that probably even less than that. But what I'd like to do is go over in more detail and not only tell you what the chords are, I take a song from top to bottom, try to figure out the best way to play it for a beginner, and then I post not only the chords, um, but I post every line of the song with the chords on top of them so you can see where the chord changes are, and then I do a chord lesson at the end of the video. So you tell me which is better. I mean, like I could just say we need to do a D chord, um, a chord, B minor, F sharp minor, G, D, and A, and that's your intro, and then your verse you want to do blah, 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 and that's that, and basically your chorus is this, and then just say, okay, have a nice day, good luck. So you guys let me know. So this video we're going to do kind of uniquely. I'm going to do it with a capo on the third fret, and then I'm going to go over at the end of that part of the lesson what the chords are, and then I'm going to do without the capo at all, and then at the end of that lesson, I will um, post the chords to playing without a capo. Okay, and I haven't played this song since I posted the video, which was months ago. So don't expect a lot. I'm not up here trying to show you that I can play the song. I'm trying to give you a starting point to the song. All right, so the chords with the capo on the third fret, um, we're going to do a D, A, B minor, F sharp minor, G, and an E minor. And the intro is D, A, B minor, F sharp minor, G, D, A twice. And remember, I don't sing. So when the singing part comes, uh, I apologize for not being a singer, but it does actually hurt my throat to do it. But I still try. So here's the intro. And then we go into verse 1. And I don't know any other picking of this song. I'm not, again, I'm not sitting up here saying, hey, look at, look at this, I can play this song. I'm just trying to teach you the basics and the starting point. So I just do basic strumming on the intro and throughout the whole song. So... through verse 1, and that's going to be D, A, B minor, F sharp minor, G, D, A, D, A, B minor, F sharp minor, G, D, A, and that sounds like this. Ok, 
Okay, then we're going to go into the first chorus. So, and again, I don't sing, so I apologize for that. A lonely road crossed another coast they line Miles away from those I love, purpose hard to find. But I recall all the words you spoke to me. Can't help but wish that I was there. to the chorus which is D A B minor A G D twice and then G A F sharp minor B minor A G D and that sounds like this <coughs> Okay, then we go and not to back up the video, um, so hang on a second. But then we go into um, the next verse. So the chorus is Dear God, the only thing I ask of you is to hold you when I'm not around, when I'm much too far. person who can be true to you when I left you when I found you and now I wish I stayed cause I'm lonely and I'm tired I'm missing you again oh no once again okay verse 2 and I did mess up a little bit on the chord so sorry about that but verse 2 is D A B minor F sharp minor G, D, A twice, and it sounds like this. <coughs> <coughs> And then we're going to the second chorus, so. There's nothing here for me on this barren road. There's no one here while the city sleeps and all the shops are closed. Can't help but think of the times I had with you. Pictures and some memories. Two, D A B minor, A G D A twice, G A F sharp minor, B minor, A G and D, and it sounds like this. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so um, my throat is getting worse, so bear with me on that. Dear God, the only thing I ask of you is to hold you when I'm not around, when I'm much too far away. We all need that person who can be true to you. to the bridge, which is a little bit harder for me to sing with my throat, 
but I'll do my best. That's going to be B minor, F sharp minor, G, D, four times, and then E minor, A. And it sounds like this. And then we go into the third verse. So that's going to be. So search, never finding a way. Before long, they waste away. I found you, something told me to stay. I gave in. to verse 3, which is D, A, F sharp minor, G, D, A, and that's a short verse, but I'm still calling it a verse, and that sounds like this. Okay, then we go into the third chorus, I believe it is, so... Across the cold state line, miles away from those I love, purpose hard to find. Okay, chorus three, D, A, B minor, A, G, D, A, twice, G, A, F sharp minor, B minor, A, G, and D. And it sounds like this. Okay, then we're going to go into a bridge. Okay, so. Dear God, the only thing I ask of you is to hold you when I'm not around. And I'm much too far away. We all need that person who can be true to you. Okay, so the outro um, is the end of the song, and I couldn't find anybody that posted that. So basically, in listening to it, it sounds like they're playing the same chords they do in the bridge over and over and over again with a bunch of ad-libbing, and then they fade the song out. So it's a B minor, F sharp minor, G, and a D, and it sounds like this. I'm not going to play all of it, but you know, this is something you want to do some research on. So here we go.
Okay, and basically all I'm doing on that, and again, this, there might be something you want to do some research on, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so I'm doing the B minor, F sharp minor, G and D. Okay, but that's really up to you. Um, that's just my trying to figure out how to play it if I was going to play the song. So let's go with the chords for the capo on the third fret. Okay, we're going to do, be it comfortable here, our D chord, which is going to be um, second fret third string with the index finger. Make sure you can see this. So second fret third string index finger, second fret first string with the middle finger, and third fret second string with the ring finger. Okay, we're going to do our A chord, which is 2nd fret 4th string index finger, 2nd um, fret 3rd string middle finger, and 2nd fret 2nd string ring finger. Okay, we're going to do our B minor, which is 2nd fret cover all the strings with the index finger. 3rd fret you want to go 2nd string with the middle finger, 4th fret 4th string ring finger, and 4th fret, 3rd um, string with the pinky. Okay, we're going to do our F sharp minor, and that's going to be, again, cover all the strings on the 2nd fret with the index finger, then go 4th fret, 5th um, string with the ring finger, and 4th fret, 4th string with the pinky. Okay, we're going to do our G chord, which um, second fret fifth string index finger, third fret sixth string middle finger, third fret second string with the ring finger, and third fret first string with the pinky. Okay, we're going to do our E minor, which um, second fret fifth string index finger, second fret fourth string with the middle finger, and I repeat this every time. <laughs> I kind of make an excuse for repeating it, but this is really for a beginner. If you want to use the middle finger and ring finger, um, I play it that way myself sometimes. So either way is okay. All right, so let's go into the song now without a capo. Okay, so, and I will post and do the chord lesson um, for this song for without the capo at the end of this part of the video. So the intro, if you're going to play it without a capo, is F. C, D minor, A minor, B flat, F, C twice. And remember, I'm looking at two sets of chords side by side, so I could make a mistake here, so bear with me on that. So the intro is going to be... If you're going to do verse 1, you're going to do F, C, D minor, A minor, B flat, F, C, F, C, D minor, then A minor, B flat, F, and C. And that's going to be a long road across another cold state line, miles away from those I love, purpose hard to find. to the chorus, and that's going to be um, F, C, D minor, C, B flat, F twice, and then B flat, C, A minor, D minor, C, B flat, and F, and that's going to be, Dear God, the only thing I ask of you is to hold you when I'm not around. Who can be true to you when I 
left you when I found you And now I wish I stayed Cause I'm lonely and I'm tired I'm missing you again Oh no Once again Okay, you want to go into verse 2 now Which is F, C, D minor A minor B flat, F and C twice Okay there's nothing here for me on this barren road. There's no one here while the city sleeps and all the shops are closed. Can't help but think of the times I had with you. Pictures and some memories will have to help me through. Oh, yeah. Okay, then we're going to go into chorus two which is F, C, D minor, C, B flat, F, C twice, and then B flat, C, A minor, D minor, C, B flat, F. Dear God, the only thing I ask of you is to hold you when I'm not around, when I'm much too far away. person who can be true to you, I left her when I found her, and now I wish to stay, cause I'm lonely and I'm tired, I'm missing you again, oh no, once again. Okay, and this is the harder part for me to even attempt to sing, this is the bridge, D minor, A minor, B flat, F, four times and an E minor A and I don't think it's E minor A on this one I think it's G minor let me check something sorry about that but yeah it's going to be a G minor and a C is what we're going to play on this part so let me find that now yeah so that's going to be G minor and a C at the end so some search never finding a way away I found you something told me to stay I gave in the selfish ways okay then you're way down here and now I miss someone to hold when the hold begins to fade and then we're going to go into verse 3 which is F, C, A minor, B flat, F, C, and that's going to be, this is the short verse. A lonely road, oops, sorry. A lonely road across another coast they lie. Miles away from those I love, purpose hard to find. A chorus, three, the final chorus, it looks like. Um, F, C, D minor, C, B flat, F, C twice, B flat, C, A minor, D minor, C, B flat, and F. Okay, so, dear God, the only thing I ask of you is to hold you when I'm not around, when I'm much too far. person who can be true to you I left her when I found her and now I wish I stay cause I'm lonely and I'm tired I'm missing you again oh no once again okay same thing on this outro I'm just playing the chords that we played um, on the bridge and that's going to be um uh, D minor, excuse me, D minor, A minor, B flat, and an F, and then you just repeat it out and fade out, so.
Okay, that's it on that one. So let's go over these chords. Now this, I guess the without the capo has some advantages. It's in a different key depending on your voice and your singing voice. But the disadvantage might be for some people going from that B flat to the F. I know that gives me some headaches. So um, we're going to do the F chord, which is first fret, cover both strings um, with the index finger. Second fret, third string, middle finger. And third fret, fourth string with the ring finger. Okay, we're going to do our C chord, which is first fret, second string, index finger. Second fret, fourth string, middle finger. And third fret, fifth string with the ring finger. We're going to do our D minor, which is first fret, first string, index finger. Second fret, third string, middle finger. And third fret, second string, excuse me, with the ring finger. We're going to do our A minor, which is first fret, second string, index finger. 2nd fret, 4th string, middle finger, and 2nd fret, 3rd string with the ring finger. Okay, we're going to do our B flat, which I'm doing it this way when I play it. That's going to be 1st uh, fret, 1st string, index finger, then 3rd fret, 4th string, middle finger, 4th fret, 3rd string, ring finger, and 3rd fret, 2nd string with the pinky. Then our G minor, and just make sure you can see me way down here. That's going to be, you want to cover all the strings on the 3rd fret with the index finger. And then you want to go 5th fret, 5th string with the ring finger, and 5th fret, 4th string with the pinky. That's your G minor. And hopefully that's it. So don't be shy, guys. Give me some advice here. If you're going to criticize, that's okay. Be nice about it and give me some advice. So if you would rather me not do all the details that I do on my lessons, let me know and I can always change it. All right, everybody take care and have a great day.